Okay, let's open up a new document in OpenSCAD. Here we're going to design a small compass using a few commands. When we open up our first project, we'll see a text editor on the left. We'll see our 3D view on the right. And we'll just see our console here that will give us some information as we're building our projects. We're gonna start by just writing out some of the things that we uh, need to start with. And we'll start small and build our project out. So just to get used to the interface, let's draw a two-dimensional circle. So we need to understand the properties. And in this case, we're gonna choose a diameter for our circle. And uh, we'll stick with inches. So let's do a diameter of one. And we have a couple other parameters. We can say center equals true. And we want to make sure that we look at the quality of the circle. So I'm going to put this at 30, and I'll make sure I end with a semicolon. So I have a circle with diameter equaling 1, center equal true, and a fraction of 30. So that means 30 lines around the entire circle. If I hit Render or F6, it should show me a small circle. I'm going to do a top view since I'm using 2D images. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I can see. If we change the 30 to a 60 in our fractional, now we can see the circle smooth out a little bit. Hopefully that comes through on the video. I'm going to stick to 30 so we don't have to render a lot of different things. There's my first circle drawn. Now, what I want to do is actually connect two circles together. We're going to make a hull. And then we'll have two parentheses and a curly bracket. Now I have my original circle here, and I need to connect it to a circle alongside it. So I'm going to go across the x-axis. And in order to move objects uh, over an axis, we're going to translate, just like our geometry terms. And I have an xyz coordinate it's looking for. And I'm just going to say 3 inches and not any direction in the y, so 0. And now I'll do the same thing. I'll draw a circle. Now my, di my diameter is going to be much smaller. So I'm going to do a diameter of a half. And again, center equals true. And dollar sign fn equals 30. OK. I'm going to close those curly brackets and see what happens. So now, when I zoom out a little bit, you can see here's my circle of 0.5, and here's my circle of 1. Okay, This distance from the center of this circle to the center of that circle is 3. So we can play with some of these functions, but our goal now is to create a couple of these pieces. And I'm going to go through making two of the smaller pieces. The beauty of OpenSCAD is that it's parametric. And we want to make sure that we can include some variables. So I want to create a variable for the large diameter. And that is 1. That's what I set it at to begin with. And the small diameter. And that is 0.5. So now I'm going to go through my code here and put in large diameter and small diameter. Now, nothing should change. And you can see nothing popped up on my console. The object didn't change at all. Another thing I'm going to do is just put the dollar sign $fn equals 30 up top. Now that means I actually don't even need to include that into any of the future circles. So that makes my life a little bit easier, less typing. All right, now moving forward, what I need to do is take away a few pieces so that I have a pivot place for my compass. So in this hull, I'm actually going to subtract a couple circles. And this is actually going to be a little bit easier. But to start, I'm going to have a bolt that connects the two pieces. So I'm going to have a bolt diameter, and that's going to go through the large diameter. 
And I'm gonna use a 1024 bolt, and I think that's about 0.19 inches. And I am then going to put a pencil in the other hole. And the pencil, I'm gonna to try to make pretty small, so I'm gonna do 0.05 inches, okay? So now, using our difference command, what we can do is take the first object, which is the hull, this is now one object. And then anything after that object will be subtracted. So here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to take my original circle. And I'm going to just change the diameter here. So this is actually going to be bolt diameter. And make sure I close out that curly bracket and that curly bracket. And this actually, just to make it look good, I'm going to bring that back. Okay, now let's render that. So we can see that this first circle here is actually this circle out here. This circle has been taken away from that circle right here. Okay, we still have our hole in these curly brackets right here. So that's again, one object. Now I'm gonna add one more circle. And again, I'm gonna copy this since they're in the same location. And if we look a little further, see where this says small diameter, that's actually gonna be my pencil. And if I render that, you can see that small diameter now popped up here. So this bolt is gonna carry one piece. This pencil hole is gonna carry another piece. And I'm gonna put two of these together to create my compass. So now that I have most of my geometry designed, there's one more thing that I'm missing. I don't want any numbers here. So I'm gonna make another variable and I'm gonna call that compass. Uh, distance. And that's just going to give me a number for the compass and we used three inches. So I am going to call this compass dist. And again, the same thing here, compass dist. And now when we change it, nothing else changed. So what I can actually do now Let's say I want to make it a two inch piece. It now adapts everything. I can change all of my parameters up here. Again, parametric design. That's our first step in creating this compass design. I'm going to save this to get started.